All right, YouTube, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. It is Saturday, March 4th, and we don't have the best conditions for today's video. We're in the car, it's raining. I'm praying that the raindrops on the windshield aren't super loud for you guys, but we're gonna jump in and get this video out like I told you guys. No matter the conditions, no matter what we're doing, we're always gonna try and get a video out, whether it's the professional version that we usually put or me with my phone in a car we're gonna get these videos out hope you guys do appreciate that hit that like button y'all are still going absolutely nuts on the likes let's see if we can get 200 likes in today's video again 200 likes for the rain on the windshield guys hit that like button hit that subscribe button if you are new we're gonna jump into each and every game here i'll give you my lean we'll talk about the games but my final plays what i'm gonna be rolling with tonight will be in the pinned comment make sure to check that out guys i update it with my plays throughout the day um and that pinned comment is just the first comment from our channel on in the comment section there so make sure to check that out we go one and one last night not too great guys suns cover um easily and then we had the teaser of the celtics minus six and the kings minus one the kings do win by one so that wouldn't have hurt the teaser but then the celtics lose outright my own boston celtics my own home team let us down but in terms of our player prop plays if you guys aren't watching that over on tiktok we do player props on a bunch of different dfs apps we had a great player prop night as well so um spreads and totals come out about even one and one right lose a little bit of juice actually uh player props had a very profitable night make sure you guys are checking those out over on tiktok as well but uh yeah let's go ahead and jump in this game again hit that like button kill that like button do what you do to your biggest enemy on that like button i'm talking some mash it you know what i mean hit that like button hit that subscribe button let's jump into the first game here we have the wizards one point dogs at home taking on the raptors here total sitting at 222 right now these two teams last played in um was it early only a few days ago right or two days ago um washington won as underdogs 119 to 108 here total was 222 in that game so they blew that one out as well this is the same total um in tonight's game just by a half point difference here i do think both these teams can put up like 112 uh 115 against each other so i do lean over first and foremost in this game and then when it comes to against the spread here washington six and four against spread in their last 10 games and what i'm looking at here is toronto still struggling on the road against spread one and three against spread in their last four games here i do think that washington's playing some decent basketball here in terms of injuries monte moore is still out for them but bradley beals picked up a lot of that point guard role since he's been out i'm gonna lean towards washington here getting the point at home and i'll tell you what this is not analytical or data driven. The only thing that worries about me, uh, worries me about picking Washington here would be the fact that they just beat Toronto. And I don't think either of these teams are exceptional when compared to the other. So I could totally see, like, if you guys in the comments would be like, no, Toronto's winning this game. They're getting their revenge. I don't think I'd argue it. You know what I mean? So make sure to keep an eye on the pin comment to see if this even comes close to becoming a final play. But I'm leaning Washington and the over here. Moving on, we have the Cavs, and this Pistons team is throwing off a lot of my plays here because their number's getting so big. The Cavs are 16-point favorites in this game. Total's at 219. That is super weird to see a total that low and spread that high. It's like, what is going on here? And then you may maybe want to take the Pistons because it's so high, right? But the Pistons are so fadeable. But anyways, guys, Cavs in their last 10 games here against spread. They're 6-4. and four. They're 3-2 and two in their last five at home. The Pistons, 5-5 five and five against spread on the road in the last five two and three they're one and nine straight up though which obviously that's why they're getting these spreads but the pistons actually as of late have been playing decent five and two against spread in their last seven games against cleveland um they're four nine in their last 13 so they haven't been playing that great here uh what did i say the total is the total in this one was 219 i don't hate this is gonna sound both these picks are just psycho alert picks right if i had my soundboard i'd press psycho alert i like the under in this game i don't think i'm gonna be able to stomach the actual making that a final play because it's so low and then i also like the pistons it's 16 you know what points like 16 points are you kidding me you're an nba squad so i'm leaning pistons out of just pure psychoness and then also the under out of pure psychoness it's a crazy game i don't think that that under becomes a final play at all but i'm not gonna lie 16 points is so tempting you might see that in the pin comment just saying just saying 
Moving on, guys, we got the Heat taking on the Hawks here. Heat, one and a half point favorites at home. I think it's going to be a very good game. Total sitting at 226 right now. These two teams last played in late January. Atlanta, they were one point favorites in that game. They were home, I believe. They won 121 to 113. They played in November as well. Miami, as four point underdogs, won 106 to 98. Those are the two meetings this year. So they did make that split of the two game series so far. But Miami's struggling two and eight against spread in the last 10 games. And get this. If I had the zoom function like I do on my normal camera, Miami 0-5 in the last five home games here against the spread. But, hey, why not? Because it's a crazy league, right? They're playing the Hawks 0-3 in their last three away games. We have two teams that are not covering or playing good against the spread in the location that they're in, the Hawks. We call them the Atlanta Pigeons on the road, right? I'm going to start calling the Miami Heat the Miami Ice when they're at home. So we got a weird, weird game here. I do think um, barring any late injuries, like um, Jimmy Butler is questionable and right on the injury report last game. Kyle Lowry is still out, but barring any late injuries to the Heat here, I'm going to lean towards the Heat in this one minus the one and a half. They're at home. I know they haven't been playing well at home, but it's not like this Hawks team. If they had a team that was playing really well on the road coming in as just one and a half point dogs against the Heat, I'd probably side with that team. But there's only a few teams in this league right now um, that playing the Heat when the Heat are at home, that I'd be like, oh, well, that team doesn't play well on the road and then side with the Heat there, right? So Heat minus one and a half is the pick here. In terms of the total 226, that is a very, very, I would say that this game goes like 224, 225. So I'm slightly leaning towards the over, even though this Heat team has been cashing unders as good as grandma's cookies. You know what I mean? So it's crazy um, how they've been playing and how, not to say predictable, but you, you have these super low unders and they're just like cash them with ease. Um, but nonetheless, I do think that this one ends up going over. I think this Hawks team can push the pace. One and a half points being the spread. This looks like it should be a back and forth game, not controlled by either side. So I'm looking for the over to cash in this one. Uh, moving on, we got the Spurs taking on the Rockets here. Spurs won point dogs and talk about a garbage game what a slate ladies and gentlemen but the Spurs one point dogs here total at 229 I immediately like the under here uh, I think that both these teams obviously lack of defense uh, Vegas think it goes over but I also think there's a huge lack of offense on both teams so I am going to lean towards the under in this one um, and both these teams also just like you know to me they don't look like a team that are trying so now you're gonna have two teams trying and you know when you play basketball with your friends or whatnot and you guys are a three game series whatever it gets to like game three and all of all of a sudden the intensity's gone and you guys kind of just dick around and and just are shooting and not really caring that's like this type of game right unless unless these two teams say hey we're both so bad let's see who can win you know the poop classic here um i don't think this is going to be a good game either way but i will say um in terms of against the spread again it is spurs plus one here hawks minus one i think this hawks team does get the job done on the road so i'm gonna lean towards the uh, sorry the rockets they say Hawks. I'm gonna get the. I'm gonna pick the Rockets here minus the one point on the road. Spurs. I just can't trust, and it's so weird. I can't trust the Spurs even more than I can't trust the Rockets. Um, and I like that the Spurs won the last time they, these two teams played. Um, it was one. It was a blowout too. So uh, the Spurs team is like, oh, we can beat this team easily. I think this Rockets team can at least keep this game close and maybe win the game here. Um, I doubt this is in the final comment or pin comment. I can tell you guys that right now. Uh, let me know if you do have a, a pick in this game, because that means you're a certified psycho. Put the trash can emoji next to your pick, too, because this is a garbage game. But uh, let's move on, because we finally have a couple decent games to close out the slate here. Starting it off with the Bucks taking on the Sixers. Bucks, four and a half point favorites at home. Total sitting right now at two 31. These two teams played in November, and Philly won 110-102. They also played in October, and Milwaukee won 92-88. Those are the only two meetings of this season, and I think that this is going to be a grinded-out type game. So a 231 total is way too high for me. I think this one stays in the 220, so I'm going to lean towards the under first and foremost. And then in terms of the spread, I know Philly's been playing well. 6-3 and three against the spread in the last nine games, but Milwaukee's been playing even better. 8-1-1 one one against the spread in their last 10 here. And they're at home. They're 11-0 and straight up in their last 11 home games. Let that sink in. Double digits, 11 home games. They have just been cashing here. I think the Bucks are the play. Barring, again, any late injuries, I think everyone's going to play. But as we know, Giannis has been on the injury report. Embiid's been on the injury report. But this is a big-time game tonight, right? A Saturday night game. So I do think the Bucks get this one done, and everyone plays, and everyone's healthy. And all of a sudden, we look at the Bucks probably winning this game by five to six points um, if I had to put some money on it, which hmm, maybe I will keep an eye on the pinned comment. Moving on, we got the Kings taking on the Timberwolves. Kings on the back-to-back -back here, uh, five-point favorites, total two. 
38 here. Minnesota coming off of, I think they played as well last night um, against LA. We didn't have any final plays on it. That could have been the night before. I apologize. I don't have that in, I don't have the date in my notes here, um, but I do believe it was also last night. So we have two, I'm going to go off of two teams on a back-to-back because -back, I'm 90% sure that's the case. Uh, Sacramento has won uh, six of their last seven games here. They've covered four of those seven games. They're playing good basketball, but the competition hasn't really been there. They've played OKC twice during that stretch. They played Dallas twice, a Dallas team that was not really, you know, firing on all cylinders just yet after the trade and whatnot. Um, no major injury updates on either side here. I do think that five points is a lot to lay, but I truly believe that Sacramento is a much better team than this Minnesota team. So I am going to lean towards Sacramento. This would be probably a play that uh, if, if I like it, it ends up becoming a teaser or something like that, because I do think that this should be more of like a two and a half point spread. But if we could tease it down to one point in a teaser, that type of thing, we might pull the trigger on that. But I do like Sacramento. I think that their pace has been pretty good as of late. And if you've watched any Sacramento games, they play hot, but then all of a sudden when they need to slow it down, they've been executing pretty well in the half court too um obviously sabonis probably has a lot to do with that but yeah guys i do like sacramento and in terms of the total uh 238 i like the under here i know that sacramento you know we were cashing their unders probably what a week and a half ago cashing their unders like clockwork and then all of a sudden you know now they're starting to ever since their 176 to 175 game i don't feel comfortable cashing those unders much anymore but i am still gonna lean the under here i think that this minnesota team obviously hasn't been consistent as of late in six of their last 10 games here they scored 107 or less um and this is a team that you know just traded to try and get more of an efficient offense and whatnot i don't think that they're truly there yet so i do think that you know uh, sacramento is going to carry the scoring in this game uh minnesota obviously doesn't play much defense but i don't think that they're going to carry their weight so keep an eye on the pin comment see if that becomes a final play but that is all i have for you guys today thank you so much for the support and i do apologize if the rain or anything makes it sound kind of like a crappy video but uh I want to get these videos out whenever I can, wherever I can. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Peace out.